Okay, good morning from Peoria, Monday. Um, everything's done in my estimation from the original work scope. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but let's move on to some other issues that we had talked about. Um, first, we'll, I guess I'll start at the front with the bar today. Um, the thought was, we're gonna use a, we're gonna sand this, and Bill, I believe you said also uh, sand this and take this to gauntlet as well, and then coat some polyurethane on top. Sorry, I'm out of the skin. Uh, sand this rail, prime it, and poly it, paint it and poly it, uh, gauntlet gray. Down here, gauntlet gray, correct me if I'm wrong, I'll caulk all these in, sand it down, and uh, use an extreme, Sherwin's extreme uh, primer on it. So then, that's the bar area. Also the uh, spirit holder back there will also be primed and painted with the polyurethane paint, gauntlet gray. Moving around, we'll do the same treatment to the host stand. Sanding down, um, including the base and uh, prime and paint, gauntlet gray. Also then taking, I know this is the mid-tone gray here. This will be done today too. Um, agreeable gray there. Up here, gauntlet. Uh, let me know about this bench. Uh, I, you know, um, yeah, just let me know on that. I'm assuming gauntlet. Gauntlet down on the base. This little built-in here will be gauntlet. Prime gauntlet up top. And then around the edge, there's four of these boxes. I don't know if they were at one time, looks like maybe a flower or a plant was put in it or something. Up here, um, these are the same as the bar. So the plan is to extreme bond prime sand and then gauntlet here. So once again, mid gray, agreeable gray here, gauntlet here, gauntlet up here, down to the base. And coming around now here, I'm gonna leave this for now, but if it needs to be done later, where the the oak, there's a toe or a bull nose, I guess is what it's called down. Try and tilt it. This bull nose. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that uh, oak for right now because that will, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to hold the finish. You can, imagine why so once again another one of these planters primed and painted and then the half wall agreeable Let's see what else we got bill you said something about this to go station here so this will be painted agreeable gray um, no, sorry, gauntlet gray. And then back here. We've got these walls of paint up here. We're getting rid of this oak here. That's, uh, that brings up another question, but these doors, gauntlet gray. These don't need as an extreme of a primer. So that'll be gauntlet. But if we're gonna do this cap, and I think I'm the answer, but and this is what I planned on doing, but if this is gonna be gauntlet, there is also some oak back here that I'm assuming will be gauntlet. It also goes back there. So um, let me know if it's not and I'll stop. There is, I guess, somewhat of a cutoff here. Cut off there so I could actually stop it there. I mean, that upholstery goes right up against that. I mean, it's gonna be, I, I'm, 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 well, I, I know I can get it, but um, if I tape it off. So anyway, that's not too much of a consideration. All right, and then other than that, I think that's it. Bathrooms are done. So that's where I'll be at today. Um, and if 
somewhat could sign off on the colors as I went through here that I'd appreciate it. Um, so I can get some sort of something official that somebody saw it and gave me the go ahead. <laughs> the point being, I always try to, to avoid painting stuff twice. That's the, that's the end game. Thank you.